You must have wandered in from upstairs. Perhaps you're new. Welcome to my lab. Uh, just give you a little tour. We have uh, some research notes over here. Ignore the heads. And... Ah, uh, meet my junior assistant, Bean. He thinks he's a scientist, but that's fine. He, he is great help in the lab. Uh, here we do amethyst research, as you might be able to tell from all the amethyst. Uh, but you might be more confused as to where you're at. Because no one simply just wanders into this lab. If you wandered into this lab, you woke up upstairs, not sure where you were, in a land unfamiliar. Let's walk and talk, I'll give you a tour. By the way, my name is Alphonse, and uh, allow me to show you to our first stop on this tour. First stop on our little tour is the World Tree. You might be more familiar with this location since this is likely where you first woke up and joined our world. It is a mysterious location and is maintained by a very well-dressed goose. Um, I suppose on to the next stop. Follow me. Here we have the ruined lab. Uh, when most of us first got here, we all congregated here to figure out what was going on, as most of us had amnesia. A lot of us still do. We came here, discovered that there was a zombie infection going on. There is also a recipe for a cure and the materials to make one cure to see that it worked. Since then, the lab's mostly been used by me. I use it partially as storage, partially as a place to do research. This is also right above the amethyst lab that you see downstairs, the amethyst being part of the cure. Sometime since then, the infection has subsided and is no longer an issue. And now we deal with something else we call the corruption. Um, the, la the lab doesn't serve as much purpose now. Although, I, I certainly like to call it my home. I, I spend most of my time here. Sometimes this is where I meet people. Like you. But, this is our ruined lab. Kind of like the aesthetic of it, personally. But, I've always liked it. That sunset. Yeah, look at the sun. Anyway, moving on. Next up on our little tour is the local post office. It's used by the residents of this world and ran by a dedicated post worker. Uh, it has outbox and inbox, which there are some available ones that should you want to lay claim to one. Uh, and there is this office. There's also the office at a nearby collective known as the Shadow Collective. Uh, that is the main office. There are also various rural houses out and about that are a little further from spawn. They have their own mailboxes who our dedicated postal worker travels to and knows the locations of to deliver various mail. It's a great way to deliver information and exchange ideas without breaking the role play of it all while people are not online a little slower because you know not immediate transfer of messages but it works and people do use it it's very fun to in game just talk to each other via message via mail albeit snail mail now next door to it if you can see it through the azalea bushes in fact allow us to just walk over there real quick is the new flower shop it's still new, um, but there are great expectations for it. They sell various dyes and flowers, and I'm looking forward to buying flowers myself. They're some of my favorite things. And on to our next stop. Let's go. Next up, you have the train tracks. It leads from here to the end of the line. 
most everyone lives within a relative distance of the train tracks and therefore you can take a little minecart and go visit most people living around here. It's definitely one of our flashier projects and it's definitely a mode of travel. I've used it a couple times myself. There's also the nether portal. We have a bridge through there. It leads to a slightly different location though and you can't stop along the way which would be the benefit to using the train here. And then on to the next location. Let's go. Now we've come to the farm. It is ran by the head of lore who dutifully harvests food for the rest of us. Uh, sometimes I help, sometimes others help. We have a community food box as you can see right there. Lots of soups. Uh, I personally make a lot of bread. Uh, and then right next door you can also see the house of one of the players. Uh, a spirit lives there, I believe is what they are. Um, they actually made quite a nice house as you can see. And so this is a community farm that we all share. Uh, a lot of people have their own farms, but personally I like to make sure the chests are stocked for newer players when they join us, so that they have a little easier time starting. And yeah, moving on. The last location on this tour is this sacrificial altar to the White Rabbit. We don't actually worship the White Rabbit. What it was, this was the climax to one of our most recent events, where to stop an evil being who was spreading corruption, or at least slow them down as we still haven't stopped them yet, we created an altar to this White Rabbit they worship to summon it and then to slay it. We had to build the altar, we had to sacrifice something important to us, uh, in this case the cure that I mentioned earlier in front of the lab, and then slay the white rabbit. One sacrifice needed, okay, well there we go, we threw it in. Now where's the beast? <gasps> oh god! Oh god! Oh it's a cute little bunny! Oh! Let me deal with this. I was a bunny hunter the once. The name is called the Blizzard. I feel like we should assign one person to to slay the bunny, the strongest Let person. Let me handle this. Okay, cra crazy, crazy mad, crazy mad guy will be, and and Sam, you two, attack it, please. And and oh my God, why is why am I slowed? Guys, guys, uh, guys, where's that in the sky? It's someone's eyes. Uh, why is there ice in the sky? It's causing the entire place to be covered. It's snow. The bunny is dead. It's a, it was a fun event that every a lot of people got involved in. And then at the time of this recording, soon the Shadow Collective will be holding their initiation event, which I hope to show the Shadow Collective next time. Thank you for coming on this tour with me, and I hope to see you around. Goodbye. Bye.